For this stoichiometry problem, we'll be doing an example of a limiting reactant problem. Just like every other stoichiometry problem, it starts out with a balanced equation. In this equation, zinc metal is added to hydrochloric acid to produce zinc chloride and hydrogen gas. We're going to begin with 6.5 grams of the zinc and 3.2 grams of the hydrochloric acid. We want to know which is the limiting reactant and how much of the zinc chloride we can expect to produce. In order to do a limiting reactant problem, you calculate how many grams or moles, depending on what the problem asks, of the product you can expect to get from each of the reactants individually. So first, we'll calculate how many grams of zinc chloride we can expect to get from 6.5 grams of zinc. We will ignore completely the amount of HCl involved as we're doing this calculation. At this point, our calculation is a standard stoichiometry calculation. So we will go from grams of zinc to moles of zinc, from moles of zinc to moles of zinc chloride, and then from moles of zinc chloride to grams of zinc chloride to find out how many grams we could produce. In order to do this, we'll need the molar mass of zinc. We can look at the periodic table and find that zinc element 30 has a molar mass of 65.39. So that we can cancel our units, we put 65.39 grams of zinc on the bottom and one mole of zinc on the top. Now we're ready to use our balanced equation to find the molar mass so that we can cancel our moles of zinc and go to moles of zinc chloride. To get our molar ratio, we look at the balanced equation and find the coefficients. The coefficient on zinc is 1, as is the coefficient on zinc chloride. So in this case, our molar ratio is 1 to 1. Now we need to use the molar mass of zinc chloride to find our final conversion factor. We're going to go from 1 mole of zinc chloride to grams. In order to do this, we need the molar mass, and to calculate that, we'll add the molar mass of zinc, which is 65.39, to 2 times the molar mass of chloride, which is 35.45. That gives us a molar mass of 136.29 grams per mole for zinc chloride. Now that we have our equation set up, we simply have to do our math and find out how many grams of zinc chloride we can expect to get. Once we've put that in our calculators, we'll see that the result should be 13.5477 grams of zinc chloride. Don't forget your significant figures. We have 6.5 grams of zinc to start, so we can only have two significant figures in our answer. So we'll need to round 13.5477 to 14 grams of zinc chloride. So now we know that from 6.5 grams of zinc, we can get 14 grams of zinc chloride when we don't have to account for how much hydrochloric acid is available. Now we'll do the same calculation, but we'll do it for the hydrochloric acid. We'll follow the same pattern in our conversions, going from grams of HCl to moles of HCl, and then using our balanced equation to find our molar ratio to take us from moles of HCl to moles of zinc chloride. And finally, we'll go from moles of zinc chloride to grams of zinc chloride using the molar mass, which we already know. Going back to the front of our equation, we need to calculate the molar mass of hydrochloric acid. We know that the mass of chlorine from the periodic table is 35.45, and we can look up to find that the mass of hydrogen is 1.008. That gives us a molar mass for hydrochloric acid of 36. We then need to use the balanced equation to get our molar ratio. 
when we look at the balanced equation, we see that there is a 2 in front of the HCl. So we put a 2 there. We see there's a 1 in front of the zinc chloride, so we put a 1 here. So our molar ratio is 1 mole of zinc chloride to 2 moles of hydrochloric acid. Go ahead and put that into your calculator. And you'll find that your answer is 5.9809. Now that's more significant figures than we can have. We need to take our significant figures back. When we do our rounding, we'll find that we can have 6.0 grams of zinc chloride. Now to determine the limiting reactant. The limiting reactant in this problem is the one that will produce the least zinc chloride. In this case, HCl will produce 6 grams of ZnCl2, while the amount of zinc we have would produce 14 grams. So HCl is our limiting reactant. As to the question of what's the maximum amount of ZnCl2 we can expect to produce, that is the amount that the limiting reactant can produce. So 6.0 grams of ZnCl2 would be how much? Don't get confused and think that you could produce 14 grams of zinc chloride. If you mix 6.5 grams of zinc and 3.2 grams of HCl, all of the zinc would react until the HCl was used up. At the point that you run out of hydrochloric acid, there's no more chlorine to participate in the reaction, and so some zinc would be left over but 6.0 grams of zinc chloride is the maximum you can produce.